Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to create the Hunter from Clash Royale. I just realized that this is my first tutorial in 2018 and this means Happy New Year guys! I hope you celebrated with your friends and families and that you had a great time during the holidays. In this tutorial we will not only create the Hunter from Clash Royale, I will also announce the winner of the clay modeling starter set and we will make a poll for a new series on my channel. So I think this will be pretty exciting. Now let's jump in, let's create the Hunter from Clash Royale. This card was released I think two or three weeks ago and it came, the update came right out of nowhere. There was no announce before from Supercell. So I was pretty excited to hear that there are new cards and that you can play them immediately. And this guy, I mean, look at the cool mustache, mustache, and, <laughs> and these eyebrows. Um, I mean, it's just too express, uh, um, um, impressive. Yeah, this was the word I was looking for. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's cut open his head for fitting the head to his head. And now we can attach the ears as well. And the head is, well, it's finished. Let's use my toothbrush for some texture work on the head itself and we can place it onto the plate and work on the torso of the hunter. We will mix a bright blue for that. So here we go. And the other half will be for the arms and we will attach them to the torso as well. You can also take just some aluminum wire for the inside of the arms but I thought this could also work without. These are the gloves, the brown gloves, and they are, um, well, they, they look a bit strange, cause the index finger has um, an own, yeah, what's it called, room inside the gloves. And this is pretty strange, but it makes sense, cause you want to use the gun and to shoot, and for that, well, you need a separate index finger. At least I guess I have never used a gun before. Uh, here in Germany they are permitted, so uh, I will never own a gun. <laughs> I had a, a soft air when I was a child and this was pretty great. <laughs> Let's attach the cape to the torso as well. We will work on some details. Here we go. And the upper part is almost finished. We will now work on the gun itself. This is the handle, the wooden handle of the gun. And this is, well, just the silver for... Guys, I don't know this part from the gun. I'm not that familiar with it. But you can see what, what it is for. <laughs> <coughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> Let's use this awkward silence for the winner. I ask you to write down the worst Christmas present you got and the one with the most pity thumbs would get a clay modeling starter set. So here we go, the winner is QWERTY. And he wrote, I think I should get the clay set because I got a jumper, which my grandma knitted, and a few pair of socks. I tried to appreciate the gifts, however, every present I opened, I got frustrated at the gifts. Also, I couldn't help to get annoyed at my brother because of all the cool games and consoles he got. He wouldn't even let me have a turn. Finally, another reason that I would like to win the clay set because I've been a huge fan of your channel and you've inspired me to create my own figures and characters. Well, first of all, let me tell you that it is so motivating to read that I inspired you to create characters. Thanks a lot for this nice feedback. And second, 
yeah, we all agree that you should win the clay modeling starter set because you got a hand knitted jumper from your grandma. But please also read the replies to your comment. Shadow Knight, for example, wrote, you should be grateful. Your grandma probably spent a long time knitting that jumper. I totally agree. It is always difficult to appreciate difficult gifts, but we should give it a try. QWERTY, you won the clay modeling starter set. Please leave me your address, your contacts, contact dates. Um, you can reach me through any social network and I will send it to you. And hopefully this is a great Christmas present after all. And you can send us a, pic a picture, maybe, you working with the clay modeling starter set while wearing this jumper. <laughs> and your socks, of course. <laughs> okay, now let's jump back to the creation or to creating the hunter. And meanwhile, we created the lower part of the hunter and we can attach the upper part, put everything into the oven. Freshly baked upper part and lower part from the hunter and we will attach them right now but first let's work on the gun i will create two dark black holes and we will put in, um, put a filling inside just some black clay in a minute but before let's attach the torso to the legs so that the hunter is able to hunt and to run through the forest this is the belt, the connection piece for the two body parts. This is the belt buckle. Here we go, working with my scalpel and put it right onto the belt. And now we can put inside some black clay. And this is um, not only that it looks just dark, these two holes, it's also for fixing this thin wire because I wanted to create a shooting effect again and therefore I need some wire to attach the cannonballs to. So I hope this looks great, we will see it in a minute. First of all let's create nine balls, put it into the oven again. Freshly baked cannonballs and <laughs> yeah, what end? We need some acrylic paint and we will paint this wire that it isn't that shiny. It's a bit disturbing when it's just that shiny. It doesn't really look great. And now we take this cord and create this, this tiny piece of fuse which sticks out of the gun for firing or for enabling the firing mechanism. Glue it into the hole and the gun is almost finished. Now we will work on the cannonballs itself. Here we go. Just make a tiny, tiny hole with a needle, for example. Put some super glue inside and stick it onto the wire. And it looks great, it looks amazing. It, it moves a lot, but I don't really care. <laughs> we will now add some beloved wool to the whole scenery, even to the fuse. Here we go for the two holes of the gun. Before the tutorial is finished, we will, we will add some more wool. Please participate in the poll. I'm pretty looking forward to see the end results. And adding some more acrylic paint to the wool, some orange, looks great I think. And finally, that's it, the hunter! Before this tutorial is over, check also the other two new cards I created. The Royal Ghost and Zappies, of course. I guess that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next week on Friday. Take care. Bye. Kick. <laughs> Let's go hunting.